Hey yo, Thallion here, and welcome back to Inmost, which is a very interesting game so far. By the way, I I'm a du I I got pain from being a dumbass, I suppose. That's fair. Um, when I crawled up here to start the video, I found this little happy family of cat people. Does this include the small cat child that I might have like kind of thrown off of a thing on accident earlier? Let's go talk to them. Let's go see. Also, hey, how hey, how are you guys doing? We are traveling. Well, you know, we used to have a home, but someone decided we gotta go traveling and drop this here. Oh, no, are these abandoned cats? What? So now we're traveling. Oh, that's so sad. I know a guy, he keeps track of stories. Do you like stories? His stories are about this world. I know him too, the storyteller. Which I don't think we have enough pain for the next story, but maybe eventually. Hello, would you like to talk? I know a guy, he keeps trying- Oh, wait, wait, same, same person. I said, okay, apparently that's it. Hello, what about you? You got anything to say to me? No, okay. Just a, 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 an abandoned family of cat people. Okay. I suppose it really do be like that sometimes. Oh, thank you for, well, you know. Oh, so that is the same cat person that I, that I let out earlier, right? Or am I a fool? Eh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Good to know I did one good deed in this world. In this world filled with pain, misery, and woe, I did one good deed. All right, let's go. Zoopity's up. Zoopity's up. Anything over here? Oh, use pickaxe. I found a secret, guys. I found a secret. Let's go. Hello. Uh, okay. This is, ah, uh ha. -huh. Oh, I know many secrets. So this is how you get that good, good pain. Just boop. Wait, wait. You, you, you saw, I was facing this way and then I pickaxed behind me. Yeah, I'll take it. This world's weird. Found a secret door when I was just jumping around like a doofus trying to get on the ladder. I'll take it. I, I mean, why not, right? Like, just might as well. Uh, let's see. Oh. I have, this leads me all the way back over here. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I have 60. I could go see the storyteller and get the last story. You know, why not? Let's go do it. Never mind. this is only a completely other side of where I thought I was. I do not want to go all the way back there. Maybe we'll get another shortcut back to the story keeper soon. Uh, cause that was very far away and I did not want to climb this mountain area again. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. Hello, Fox. Oh, this is so pretty right here. There's so much light and the storm hasn't reached it. What are you, Fox? So, I feel like the game has had a whole lot of metaphor and a whole lot of not giving direction. Like, like so, you know, I'll talk about, I'll talk about my thoughts about the game at the end of the game, whenever that happens. The fountain. Intriguing. Ooh, the music's good. Oh, you are a woman. Or a man with very long hair. Or very non-binary. Let's see. Hello. Uh Okay, so that's that's a flower, right? That means that this this is this man's wife and they had a child. What is, hmm. Interesting. Oh? Oh. 
Oh no, did she die? Oh no. Oh, the change in color, the change in scenery is beautiful. Interesting. Huh. Oh, we're back here. I need a key. I have to know what's in there. So, that's interesting. Where does that fit into the grand metaphor of everything else? Push the door. What? No, wait, what do you mean push the door? Switch on, switch off. Um, because... If that, so I don't think that that, the character that we play as normally, can I not, can I, am I not able to get up there? Okay, I guess we have to push the door. I don't think that the character that we play as normally is the same as the father. Um, like from, from this section of the game. I, I think they're brothers or maybe some other familiar uh, relation because they look alike, but maybe I'm wrong. But the, because also the wife dying while still having a child doesn't fit this story at all. That's interesting. The crates are covered with a cloth. The fabric is adorned with images of teddy bears. Aw. I hate those creatures. Hey, what? Toy bears are, are toy rabbits as natural enemies. Oh, that's fair, actually. If it's a toy rabbit, that makes a lot of sense. Once we, we will, once we will wipe them all from the face of the earth in a mighty blaze of inescapable vindication. That is a very violent at rabbit you have. And the rashes will cover the roofs of our dollhouses. Yikes. Push the door. Open the door. Okay, how do I progress? Oh, okay, it was just giving me some issues, like, trying to get up earlier. Okay, that's fine. Easy enough. Just a pile of rags is moving! No. We're on planet- we're on a planet hurtling through the universe with inconceivable speed in a wild dance of the galaxies. So technically, I'm right! It's moving! The moon is really pretty. By the way, I don't know if I've talked much about it, the art in this game is actually really gorgeous. This game is very, very pretty. Um, I really like the pixel art style. I think they did a really good job of making the environments feel kind of eerie, but also beautiful. And I think they did a really good job there. Um, the music has also been like very low key, very toned down. Um, lots of like simple, like simple melodies, but it's been very effective. So overall, I think that's been really good. Climb up. I think there's an air vent near the ceiling. I can use it to get into their room. What? How did... It doesn't matter. Interesting. So we're looking for keys? You're making a lot of noise. I'm not afraid anymore. She left. She should be afraid now. She left? Oh, that... So is this the same night as the night that she ran out the door? The door is always locked. How about we set it on fire? Never joke like that again. Never. I'm sorry. Yikes. I don't know any numbers. I know, I know number three and number six. I knew one girl who knew number 1415, but I didn't have enough time to learn it from her. <laughs> but yeah, never joke about there being a fire again. Obviously she's traumatized because she was in a house fire. Or at least that's my assumption. Based on everything that we saw before. Climb up. Anything up here? Oh, oh I can keep climbing. Oh! Oh, God, that's loud. Oh, the plates were going to be punished. Who cares? Oh, she is angry now. Don't forget about him, too. He's always at his work. That's true. She was really afraid of me, but why? I don't know, and I don't care. I have to find out what they are hiding in the attic. Yeah, well, she wasn't afraid. She was just, like, heartbroken, because it was probably their previous child's um rabbit oh it must be like very heartbreaking to like see it with another child but like to be fair the 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 mother is very unstable like we have seen that the mother is incredibly unstable with grief the plants are drying up it must have been beautiful here once do you know that some plants can kill you one girl was asleep in her bed and a plant creeped up on her and stabbed her with a knife you know this, this, uh, teddy rabbit is very, the stuffed rabbit is very morbid for, uh, 
for like I, I think it represents kind of like the more morbid darker recesses of her mind that's what it seems like at least oh interact over here maybe oh gosh yeah so that was a clue earlier to get into the ceiling vent to get into their room oh god what are we gonna find in their room like this has been a very depressing story I don't even want to think about what their room is like. Like, do they have pictures of their previous child there? Do they not keep them there because it's too painful? Is that what's in the attic? Like, everything having to do with their previous, uh, their previous child. Um, who I'm guessing is a daughter based on everything we saw? Oh, is this a study? Oh, we are just going through everything. We are ransacking this house. Pick up. Okay. Maybe I need to take this to a different room, but we'll see. Examine. Probably have to take it to the other room, actually. Framed awards, all covered with dust. Everyone forgot about them long ago. He used to treasure them. Now he doesn't care at all. How'd you know that? I... I don't remember. There's a passage above the door. You can use the books to climb up. Sure. What do you mean? What do you mean? How do you know he used to treasure them? That's a really specific bit of knowledge that it's trying to assume there. What happens if we exit? Where does this take us? Oh, it just opens up this room. Oh, okay. So this isn't even the bedroom. So this means that, yeah, up above here, like we were talking about before, leads over to the attic. Where do I do the do? How do I go up from here? Oh, okay, I can just climb it like that. Again, the pathway is sometimes a little iffy. Are we just going to knock over everything again? Oh, hello, bathroom. We're just going to make our way down here. Open this. What do we have here? Any more dialogue interactions? The pictures are all covered and the windows haven't been opened in a long while. The floor is dirty. She used to like everything clean. She... Something happened. How do you know all that? I... Maybe I used to be her toy? Oh. So this is like this idea... I don't know. This child is using this like stuffed rabbit as like the sounding board for all these theories. And it feels like she's starting to accept something closer to reality, you know? And then we can use this to climb up here. What is up here? Open. A key. It looks like very old. This must be it. Okay, so now it's time to head back to the attic. Oh, I'm very concerned about how this game is going to end. Because it was mentioned in the comments, the idea that maybe, like, the mom set the house on fire like after this point in time because there was there was a there was a mention of the witch burning everything which if this child has already gone through one house fire which i think is the assumption based on the flash the flashbacks from before then that would be extra traumatizing for it to happen again oh my goodness but this game has been dark the entire time so i guess i shouldn't be too surprised but i'm very concerned okay here we go open oh gosh the sound it still gets me it's like whoosh what do we got oh boy uh hello raccoon oh god it's so angry hello goodbye okay this is Ooh, her imagination is wild. Oh my god. This was... I think this this was a raccoon. <laughs> you don't say, a little teddy bear. You don't say. Oh. How could it be? There's nothing here. Just some old junk. Oh, what are you going to find, though? Oh, the shadow. Mm. Scared me a little. What do you got, Elizabeth? Where are the abducted kids? Where are they hiding them? You know that there aren't any. You know. The chimney. 
What? The chimney from the fireplace. But there's no fireplace. Or, but there's no fireplace. Interesting. Please don't go climbing into the chimney. That is a good point, though. Why is there a chimney but no fireplace? Okay. They boarded over it? But why? If it was something like they didn't want to have a fireplace because they thought she might be afraid of fire, that would be heartbreaking. What are you doing? Oh, this seems like a bad idea. This seems like a really bad idea. Oh no. Oh my God. This child is literally a home destroyer. Don't fall, don't fall. Oh God, Ugh. Oh no, there's nobody home. Who knows when the dad will get back? Who knows where the mom went? Ooh, the color palette is so eerie. What? Oh my god. The cellar is full of children's old things. Oh, I was right. No, that's not what's going on here, Elizabeth. They are abducting kids. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, please. Oh, Elizabeth. No, that's not what this is. Mommy, Daddy, please, where are you? That's not what this is at all. Oh, what no a... one can oh. leave while the Keeper still needs them. Well, hello. We're back to the night. Okay, we're gonna have more of these action sequences. Ooh, I like the snowy wasteland, though. Okay, so just wait for these guys to come in. Why does the Keeper want so much pain? Is it just its nature, you know? Like, it's just part of it? There is but one way out to let the pain dissolve you. I don't want to let the pain dissolve me. That seems terrible. Oh. There are... The pure-hearted still grow their flowers. For the secret of the flowers lives on. Okay. So the secret of the flowers is such an is an interesting statement because we know that flowers refers to children now. Those who live in the light of their flower are free from pain and hidden from the keeper's ever vigilant gaze. I mean I I mean I don't think like having a child like completely negates pain for you. It's pretty a pretty fucked up take. <laughs> um the flower fills their hearts with love. And the love stands in the way of the pain. Let's see, let's see. Um, this environment is really cool though, the snowy wasteland. I just love that motif in general. Oh, I saw that ice crap coming. Yep. That was But those who serve the keeper can never have their own soul flower. Oh oh, do I have to Are you trapped now? Oh there no. no escape for them. For black are their souls. Oh, it was afraid of getting hurt. Even if you steal a flower, it'll never be yours. Is it offering pain to the night? Such things should never happen. Oh, 
powers must stay with those who gave them life. Interesting take there. Oh no, is the night just completely... decimated? Oh! Okay! Giant snake, I have to get out, I have to get out before he comes back. Okay, was that the knight who was transformed there at the end? Don't be afraid. We'll find we'll find my house. Oh, I don't think you will dearie. I don't think you will I just need to grab some supplies Okay What are you trying to grab anything water need to grab some water. Oh No, don't go running away. Let's see. Oh. Uh, oh! Oh, he's just trying to make sure she's okay. Oh. Why did you abduct me? Oh no. Give me back to my mommy and daddy. So that was all the feeling the knight. Okay, so the knight is the father here. The adoptive father. And that all the the narrative about the knight has been the child's feelings about the knight abducting her. Oh, he's so haggard and worn. The knight just wants to take the flower's pain. Where are my parents? What happened to them? Yeah, so... Finally was able to get through to her. Because it was a shell of pain that was keeping the flower away. What is this? A way to escape the keeper? Oh, no, that's not it. Okay, whoa. Big snake, big snake. Okay, you can't jump, knight. I know this. I've been playing as you. Ooh. I'm not doing this, by the way. This is all cutscene. Oh, no.
Oh, you can see it in the background. That is not good. Get out of there, bud. Oh, no. Get out of there. Oh. Ooh, good hit, good hit, good hit. I'm not doing any of this. This is all a cutscene. Where's it gonna come from? Ah, oh, shit. Not bad, not bad. I don't know what the giant snake is representing, but... Oh, unless it's just like the general like wear and tear. Oh, God. You can see the, no. So it's his saying that the keeper killed the father? Oh, oh God, there's blood splatter everywhere. Oh no, there is blood on the knife. So is it saying that the mom is the keeper in this scenario? I thought the mom was the witch or are they just both the same? Okay. Oh no. We're going to leave the three of us just like we wanted. He's with her already. Soon I'll be there too. Oh God, it is a murder, a murder-suicide. Oh my God. Oh, Elizabeth, run. Run. Oh, this is terrible. What in the world? What? What are you doing? What did you give her? Oh god, don't make her watch. Oh. This poor kid has been so traumatized. This is a character we play as. This is a character we play as. It wasn't... So he's going over to rescue her through all of this. Is that this whole world that we've been going through similar to that? Jesus, what the hell? Okay. What does that mean? Is this the wife that we saw earlier? Sees he never was a knight, you know. One way or another, we all serve the Keeper. So the Keeper is still a personification of pain. Wasn't the mother. And we all have our desires. Our grief. Most importantly, his heart was not all black. He had grown his own soul flower. Oh, 
Aw, the poor child getting bullied. Don't make me watch this again. So this is the mom and dad making Halloween de decor. No, that's the daughter. She's on a school. So they were making Halloween decorations together. The mom and the daughter. Oh, no. And you can see the stuffed rabbit that she has as well that uh, Elizabeth is carrying throughout the entire story. He did not manage to save it though. And that was his undoing. Yeah, because we know what happened. And she... Well... She never forgave him. God... But yes, he did steal that second flower. Okay, so he did... So that's why there was the fire when he... he they showed him as the knight earlier? That's why there was the fire. He literally saved her from a burning building. You were too young then, and no one told you. Everyone was so busy, so preoccupied with their own pain. He stole the flower from death. Stole you away. We knew this, though. We had figured this out. Managed to rescue her. She, kn she didn't know, though. She and couldn't have. And accepted you with all his heart. Oh. This poor guy. Look at him. He's trying his best. She couldn't, though. You have to leave with me. We got it. We must be with our daughter. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, she my God. Him. She blamed you. Some have to face more pain than they can handle. And the pain broke her. She wanted them to leave together. To follow their flower. Oh, is he pulling himself? Oh, God! Night, they did leave. Oh, God! She took him with her. <sighs> is that the idea of him pushing through the pain of the loss of his either brother or son? It's hard to tell the age difference here. She took my son. There we go. Oh, no. So he's actually... A gr the grandfather in this scenario. Okay. He's looking frantically for her. She's maybe she's up in the attic hiding. Or maybe down in the chimney, the cellar? I don't know for sure. Oh no. What is the letter? She's just walking. Oh, no. Is she trying to go find her home? Oh, but she doesn't realize that her parents are dead. They never told her that her parents died in that fire. 
Oh no. I can't believe that. seen a ledge like that before please do not do not make this end horribly please oh jesus fuck okay scary okay Whew. well I, I don't think it does i think she is the narrator of the story but oh come on go get her buddy oh no elizabeth no that is not the way Oh no. Oh God. Go, 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 get her, get her. Oh God. Oh. The pain stays with us forever. Oh. It can subside. It may grow dull, but it'll never leave us. And we live with it, doing our best not to let it dissolve us. We fight it every day. But there are different kinds of pain. There's sacrificing yourself. The father, consumed by work, trying to give his child a better future. The mother, dedicating herself to her family until there is nothing left of her. Your pain is the price you pay to make someone else feel better. To make someone else smile, if only for a moment. I... But trading someone else's happiness for your pain is not the only way. Life doesn't want your pain. It doesn't need your suffering. It simply is what it is Ooh. you don't have to fight it life simply is what it is remember those who are gone and do our best for those who remain all of us carry our pain within us another way even if you're in pain another way is to take someone else's pain and make it your own Oh, there's Elizabeth, grown up. So I guess he raised her after all of that. Do you remember? Do you remember it? That tale about pain? I was wrong. It's a tale about love. I will tell you. Tell you once again. Ooh. Oh my goodness. There we have it. That was Inmost. A much, much darker game than I anticipated when I started playing it. I thought it was going to be like Eldritch Horror. I thought all kinds of stuff. I didn't know what it was. Um. Oh, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I'm getting emotional. I have so many thoughts about the game. I think we were right about a lot of things. Um, wrong about some things. Uh, oh, the music is so good here. Oh, that, that was so good. The music is really good. Um, very, very interesting for an indie game. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, we can see people. We can see them in the background. Oh, uh, going and living life a tea party. That child has been through hell. That child has been through absolute hell. Um, most of the game was told in metaphor. Most of the game was told in a bunch of metaphor. Um, wow. The, the art is absolutely beautiful. The music is really good as well. Um, some really standout tracks that, oca that occasionally happen and a pretty good ambiance in general. The story was 
actually really interesting. Depressing as hell. Super depressing. Um, definitely, definitely got the vibes that the father was misunderstood with the whole night motif from the beginning. I'm glad that that was the case. To those who suffer, know that you are not alone. If you are in crisis, please ask someone you know or a trained professional for help. Yeah, this is, that is very true right there. And one of my favorite things, oh, hey, here we go. We're at the title screen. One of my favorite things about this game um, was actually there at the end, that last line talking about that life doesn't need your suffering. It doesn't need your pain. It just is what it is. The idea, so it, it's not like it's demanding that of you. You know what I mean? It's not something that that life demands. Um, so there's that that means that you don't have to suffer. It, it happens. It happens and you feel pain and it happens to everyone. But it's not the price that life demands of you for living. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I have a lot of thoughts. Um, the everybody in this in this entire game needed like professional uh, mental health assistance. Um, the mother especially, holy shit, to see a suicide of a child and then a murder-suicide of the mother, like, it, 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 I don't think it was just played for shock value, because some games you feel like it, it might be. I don't think it was just played for shock value. Um, that was just a deep, dark tale. Whew. My thoughts about the game overall. Um, I talked about the art, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I talked about the soundtrack, very nice. A bit low-key in some parts, but otherwise really stand out. Um, I don't know why I added the third point before I got to it. Uh, the story. So the, so I'm going to talk about the story and the gameplay together-ish. Like a little bit separate, but then together. Boom. The story itself was very interesting. Very intriguing. As soon as we figured out that it was mostly a metaphor. Um, I do feel like a lot of the game backloaded the story. Like all that bit there at the end for like 20 minutes or something. was just a straight cutscene. Um... And I don't know if that's really the best way you want to finalize your story, like just being like, okay, now here's a cutscene dump explaining everything that happened when you were kind of refusing to tell it throughout the game uh, previously. Uh, hints in everything, yes. Trying to piece together things, which was actually really fun, trying to piece together the bits of the narrative were really good. I don't know if a cutscene dump at the end where I didn't even like get to play first part of it, maybe fighting the, uh, the snake boss would have been enjoyable. Um, but... It was just a cutscene dump at the end, which isn't terrible. I'm not averse to cutscenes. I play JRPGs. Um, but for a game that spent so much time trying to get you to invest in the metaphor and piece it together, explaining just everything at the end feels... Um, I'm glad I got the story, but I think that there might have been a more nuanced way to do it. And this ties into the gameplay. So talking about the gameplay in general, a lot of the puzzles were fine. Um, the knight, so let me go section by section. Uh, the, 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 the grandfather, I guess, or maybe the father and the son, I should say. I'll just say grandfather. The grandfather's sections were okay. They were fine for the most part. The puzzles were simple, but not obstructive. Um, they were pretty easy to figure out for the most part. Required a slight bit of thinking. Um, the biggest problem with that section was a sense of aimlessness. And so I think, like, so take other games that um, are built on hidden stories. You know, whether that be lore or other aspects. Uh, two really easy examples are the Souls, the Soulsborne franchise. It's the Soulsborne franchise and Hollow Knight. They all have hidden stories. You know what I mean? Um, stories that you need to piece together by finding little details or getting it discovered to you, and it never tells you um, the whole thing. The reason why it works so well in those games is because that story is not your current active objective while you're playing the game. In Dark Souls, it is about killing bosses and progressing in a new area and killing those bosses and exploring the world. In Hollow Knight, it's very similar. Um, it's a Metroidvania. And you're progressing to these different areas. You have a few other goals. In this game, the, the concept of the hidden story gets a bit obscured or not even obscured. Actually, it's it's the opposite. It gets unobscured. It's uh it's not something neat that you find in addition to playing the game. It feels like you were going from area to area to area with very little goals internal to the world because the world that the that the uh, grandfather goes around in, um, it's it's a separate metaphor world, right? And I think having a more concrete goal or set of goals in that world would have helped make it feel a bit less aimless. And because there are times where it felt like, okay, I just got to go to some arbitrary section where it will give me a flashback so that I can get more story. And then I know I'm going the right way, I guess. So it, it felt like there was a disconnect there between the storytelling of the hidden story and the foreground. Like, um, 
it felt like the foreground was not as well thought out as the background in a lot of ways. Um, so just if, if the game developer ever sees this uh, video, I hope that's the, that's actually the biggest takeaway, I would say. Um, there are some minor bugs in like kind of like iffy like gameplay things like contextual buttons being iffy. But the big thing is that you don't want your foreground to suffer for your background story. Um, Elizabeth and the knight uh, were both, or I guess in this case, the uh, father or the son, depending on your perspective. Uh, both did their job as interludes, and that's all they were. Um, Elizabeth was really straightforward, puzzle solving, giving us those back flashes. That's fine. The night sections, uh, combat was a little simplistic. It got more interesting with time. It was very much like hype, like blasting super loud music, and that's fine. Um, it is really interesting that the voice narration happens at the same segment that the music is blasting at the loudest, but that's super minor nitpick. Uh, and I think those did their jobs well. They broke up the um, the core foreground gameplay of the grandfather um but it did feel like like i mentioned before you were really just kind of wandering and solving puzzles and trying to find new areas to get to those sections just to know you were going the right way there was chasing the girl in the grandfather and there was uh honestly i'm trying to remember any other like key things that it was like yeah this is your goal because apart from that it felt like you're just trying to find things which is fine um, it was just, I think that you could have delivered the, the story in a more nuanced way by double layering your objectives. But all in all, I actually really enjoyed this game. Um, it hit way harder than I expected it to. The story was beautiful. It, the, it was an interesting take there, it being a story about love instead of about pain. Um, the father being a, or excuse me, the son, father, whatever. Uh, the, the adoptive father, I'll say, being a... Uh, a very sympathetic figure. I felt like from the beginning and I was waiting for the second shoe to drop, but really that's all it was. The girl was misplacing a lot of blame because nobody explained to her what happened. She literally just got rescued and then I guess nobody told her that her parents were dead, which is rough. Who? Um, the mother was just like a destructive like character who needed some serious mental health like help. And like not meme, like that mental health is no fucking joke, like genuinely needed it. And seeing Elizabeth grow to understand the situations that were in her childhood and maybe uh, accept them a bit better and clearly have grown a lot. That's such a traumatic childhood. To see that final bond between her and the grandfather at the end was actually really sweet and had a really nice payoff. Gosh, but yeah, that was in most, guys. What do you think? What did you think of the gameplay, of the story, of this resolution to the story, of the metaphor versus the reality? Tell me what you guys thought down in the comments. And if you like this video, please like it so that, you know, like I can know if you like it. Um, and subscribe if you guys want to see more from me, or if you're already subscribed, hit the bell down below. And otherwise, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Valian out! <laughs>